Hey, it's Mr. Peace. I'm here at Hampton Elementary School, home of the Hawks. I'm outside their gymnasium where we just had two assemblies this afternoon for all the grades, K2 and then 3-5. And this is my first time at this school. It was an honor to be here. Uh, you know, this is in the Bay City Public School District and in Bay City, Michigan. But, you know, for me, being my home state where I was born and raised, uh, always getting to be able to speak uh, where I'm from, it really strikes an extra heart chord for me. And I think that happened for a lot of students today, you know, somewhere in tears. Some just wanted to share uh, what touched their heart today. And I always say, you know, if something touched your heart, it means you have a big heart. Now it's up to you go share that gift with other people, right? And the main focus was on bullying, but more importantly, looking at someone's heart first. And I'm near this bench right here because one of the stories that I share uh, in this particular program talks about a buddy bench and how this student, uh, you know, was able to become a student leader at their school, like a safety basically. And that was their job, that if anybody was sitting alone on that bench, that they would go and help that person find a friend or uh, you know, if someone felt alone, that they could be their friend, right? And to know that we have that power to spread that kindness and spread that love, even at a young age where we can make a difference, that's a huge, huge concept to already grasp. And so it's always inspiring to me when we have students that come up and say, you know, that they're gonna make sure that they're gonna try to show kindness each and every day, not just to themselves, but to everyone around them, right? And so their acronym here, uh, being SOAR, you know, the whole idea is that we rise by lifting others, right? And that we can lift them up higher than ourselves through our words and through our actions. And our hearts as big as our fist. If we let love, peace, compassion fully enter into here, we can turn this into this, right? Peace sign. And so that's one finger for ourselves. The other for someone we're trying to lift up higher than ourselves, right? And hopefully in just two seconds, we know that we have the power to uplift or to tear down. Right, so we want to always think about every heartbeat, every breath, and even if we're going through something, uh, we can still choose that love, right? That hurt people hurt people, right? It's a choice, but heal people heal people. And so that's what I really wanted to instill in them today, and I believe that they really did take that home and through a series of, you know, heartfelt stories, uh, inspirational videos, some positive music, some physical, tangible props, and some audience participation. That's how I really got the message through. And not just to look at someone's heart first, but see them for this too. I talk about this in all my assemblies, but all of us with the lines on our hands, we have the letter M. I trace one of mine here, like the front of my shirt says miracle. Upside down W for worthy, that we're all beautiful miracles, worthy of love to give it and receive it. But for the students or adults even that don't believe this or never been told that or need a reminder, we need to be the light to their heart, right? We need to be that change that we want to see for this world and be able to show that compassion. You know, be a best friend, have the courage to stand up and do what's right, even when it's not the easy thing to do. So thank you so much for touching my heart. It was great to see all of you. Hope to see you again in the near future. Until then, though, and as always, have a great rest of the school year. And make sure to hit the subscribe button to pop up on the screen. You can also check out this playlist below for some additional motivation. And feel free to visit my website by clicking on the peace sign symbol on your phone, tablet, wherever you're watching this video to track my journey across this country as I continue to heal America's heart one school at a time. Peace.